Welcome back, y'all. And as the title says, this is um, an unboxing from Tarantula Cribs. Uh, this is my first time owning an enclosure from them. I've known about them for a couple of years. However, in my collection, I haven't really been in the last couple of years searching for those, uh, for lack of a better term, more professional enclosures. You know, those ones that are a little more special, you spend a little more money on because the animal that's going in there is, is, is pretty special to you. So uh, recently I've had several tarantulas that I've been able to sex that have gotten bigger. So I've got some things that need some rehousings and I've got some uh, ones that are pretty important to me. I want to spend a little more money on for the more permanent enclosures. And so that's what um, this enclosure is going to be. I will do the uh, rehousing in a separate video, but for now I'll stop talking and we'll go ahead and get into this box and then we'll do a bit of a, uh, a review because like I said, I have literally never um, owned anything by Tarantula Cribs. I, I've been aware of them for a couple of years, but like I said, I hadn't really needed uh, any need for professional enclosures um, except for the couple of um, herp cults that I got recently and I really like those. The only thing I don't like about those is there's only one point of access. They have a top lid, but nothing on as far as a front lid on any of the sides, which is what helped me decide on the tarantula cribs because they've actually got one now that is some very interesting packing material. I don't think I've ever seen this stuff before. I'm definitely going to say that because I can probably use it. Um, anyhow, uh, so... I was looking for this particular enclosure for this particular animal, more of a uh, two-way enclosure, not just access to the top. I wanted access from the top and through the front. Excellent packing right off the bat. And of course, there's that infamous logo, Tarantula Cribs. This is the Treehouse Switch 2.0 uh, medium. Uh, if memory serves correctly, this is a yes six by six by eight inch enclosure, and the tarantula that is going in here, it's pretty much going to be it's an arboreal, and it's pretty much going to be it's probably its permanent home. So that kind of gives you an idea of how not large this thing is going to get. So um, nice packing, beautiful box. You said I've known about them, but I've never pulled the trigger on them. And then I got to look in here recently for um, a double opening enclosure. And Herp Cult doesn't have anything in the size that I needed. Price range wise, they would have been about the same. But unfortunately, Herp Cult did not have a smaller um, double opening enclosure. The ones they have right now are for. Um, your average adult tarantula, arboreal tarantula. And this tarantula is actually going to be a little bit smaller, so I didn't need an enclosure that large. Very great packing. I've heard nothing but good things about these guys. I've never heard a, a negative word on them. Um, and I didn't put this review up like on Facebook or some of the groups that I'm a part of. Um, I chose the one. You can actually choose the background. It's plastic off. You can actually choose the background. You can actually choose white or black, and I chose uh, the white. And what's cool about these is these magnets, this background actually comes off so if I wanted a black background later I could get a black background that's a very cool feature uh, a lot like the herb cult these guys are the, the, the all the opening mechanisms and stuff like that are based on magnets which is I really love the whole uh, magnet thing but just like that the backgrounds right back on there and here is show you the top Basically just pops right off. It's got the four magnets here. And uh, then of course on the front here, which will be my main access point for maintenance and stuff like that for this tarantula. 
I may decide to put a few pieces of tape on that background back there because the magnets aren't strong enough to really kind of keep it in place, which could be dangerous with you pulling a enclosure like this um, out off of a shelf and you pick it up back here and all of a sudden you drop the enclosure and endanger your tarantula. Really cool idea on that though. I'm sorry we screwed up on the door. So there we go. That is the front door. It's like I said, I will probably be using a lot more and you get it to a certain point and you know it's secure because of that click. Just like with the herb cult. And like I said, you've got the lid up here, which has got a tab on it. Comes right off. Easy access, easy to close right back up. Like I said, you know everything's nice and secure. Of course, this one is made of um, acrylic, just like the Herb Cult. My, the um, other professional enclosures I have, my Exoterra, like Nanos, they're glass enclosures, which I like, but I mean, you take a risk in shipping with them being broken. thing I like about glass is it does not scratch as easily um, as the acrylic, but I do really like this enclosure, and I really hope that the tarantula that's going in here will like this enclosure. Um, great job, guys over at uh, Tarantula Cribs. I don't have any names right now because I don't have all that, don't have any of that contact, but go check them out on their website. Um, now their enclosures are not cheap, but for certain animals that you want to, that you know, that are worth that, these guys are worth checking out. Excellent built enclosures, excellent packing. Couldn't be happier. And so one of the next videos I'm going to do now is going to be the tarantula that goes into this. But for now, I'm going to end this video and thank you so much for watching it. And I hope that you will like, comment, share, and if you have not subscribed, please do that. And of course, as always, guys, have a fantastic day or night wherever you are. Love these tarantula cribs. Can't wait to uh, put a T in there and give even more review. Take care of yourselves and each other. Thanks for watching. God bless.